Hey everyone, Tiger Tanaka here, and welcome back to more Pokemon Emerald. In the last part, we explored this route over here and fought the gym leader. In this part, we're seeing what this Devon researcher is up to. You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in the Petalburg Woods. Help me! I was robbed by Team Aqua. I have to get my Devon goods back. If I don't, I'm gonna be in serious trouble. All right, all right. So yeah, let's see what's going on here now. We already cleared out all these trainers before, so I don't have to fight them again. But, there's someone who wasn't here before. Oh, what am I to do? We were on our walk, Pico and I, when we were jumped by an odd thug. The scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. Rah, Pico! Alright, so, I guess Team Aqua kind of stole everything. Why don't you come and come and get some, then? Alright. Gah, keyhole and all. That hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless. And to think I made a getaway in this tunnel to nowhere. Hey, you, so you want to battle me? Well, we kind of have to to save everything. But yeah, since it's the same Aqua Grunt that we fought before, he's just got a Poochiana. But now we can finally use... God damn it. Sorry about that, but like I was saying, we can finally use a different attack on Wingo with Wing Attack! And that actually did a pretty good chunk of damage, I'm not complaining. Yeah, this Poochiana is done already, that's... <laughs> this Aquagrunt poses no threat at all. Uh, my, uh, my Korean crime comes to a dead end. I see what you did there. This plan is not right. Boss told me this would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do was steal some package from Devon. You want it back that badly, take it. Alright then. So, this is Pico, huh? Am I glad to see you're safe? Pico was her life to you. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are? Oh, so you're Anthony. I sincerely thank you. If there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You can usually find me in my cottage by the sea near Petalburg Woods. Come, Pico, we should make our way home. Well, now we know what that building was for. And we've kind of hit a dead end to what we can do, but for right now, since we have cut... Well, first off, that goofy goon hightailed it out of that tunnel. I can go back to digging. Tunnel's Rest House. We can finally see what's in this house since that guy was blocking the way before. To get to Verdant Turf Tunnel without using this tunnel, or there. To get to Verdant Turf without using this tunnel, you'd have to cross the sea. Cross the sea to do first, sail onto Slateport, then travel through Mauville. Yeah, it's quite the detour, isn't it? That Rust Turf Tunnel there. First, we had a huge work crew boring through rock with the latest machinery, but we had to stop. Turns out that we would have had, excuse me, would have had a negative effect on wild Pokemon in that area. So we've got nothing to do but lull around here doing nothing. Nice. There's a man digging his way to Vernon Turf all by his lonesome. He's desperate to get through. Says that if he digs little by little without using machines, he won't stir Pokemon and he'll avoid harming the natural environment. Wonder if he made it through yet. Well, that explains why this guy was just sitting out here, but now that we have caught, let's explore this little route here. an item here, but we need to engage a double battle if we want to get to it. So, let's just beat these guys. Oh, it's rich people! That means we can beat them up for a lot of money! That sounded so bad. I mean, I kind of intended it to, but still. Alright, we can still show off nature power here. In grassy areas, nature power turns into swift, which is a base power 60 normal type move that can never miss if the opponent is not using a move that makes them unhittable, such as fly or dive or something like that. But yeah, nature power is a decent move for the beginning of the game, especially in certain areas where it turns into really powerful moves, but right here it's really not that good. In the meantime, though, we get a crap ton of damage on this Poochiana, and then we KO it. We get 3,200 Poké Dollars for beating the both of them. All this for a regular potion. Oh, nice. But we have more trainers to fight. Why am I even bothering with this? I guess that's so you can avoid the trainer battle, but I don't really want to avoid it. I want the experience. 
Oh, hey, a Meryl. You don't get to see many of those. It's a water type, of course, but, you know. Wingle is just getting hurt a lot. Okay. I can take a hint, Ralts. Yeah, let's go ahead and put Mudkip in front, or I guess Lotad, actually. Mudkip's still level 14. Yeah, we can cut down this tree. And we can get some berries here, but they don't really do anything yet. Well, these Chesto berries do. They work like awakenings where they wake up sleeping Pokemon. But the Pinet berries don't really do anything yet. You can't even feed them to Pokemon. They just kind of say they can be used for Pokeblock ingredients, which we don't have access to do that yet. So let's just pick up pick up our ether right here. And so let's go ahead and talk to that Devon researcher. Oh, how'd it go? The Devon Goods? You did it! You got them back! You really are a great trainer. I know, as my thanks, I'll give you another Great Ball. Not bad. Excuse me, please, come with me. This is Devon Corporation's third floor. Our president's office is on this floor. Anyway, I can't tell you how much I'm grateful for what you've done. Uh, by the way, that parcel you got back for us, could I get you to deliver that to the shipyard in Slateport? It would be awful if those robbers tried to take it again. Uh, so could I count on you to do that for me? Oh, that's right. Could you wait here for a second? Okay, this guy's a nervous wreck, isn't he? Then again, I can't blame him. He got robbed twice. Our president would like to have a word for with you. Please come with me. Please go ahead. I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I just got word about you. You saved our staff not just once, but twice. I have a favor to ask of an amazing person like you. I understand that you're delivering a package to Slightport's shipyard, even though we really didn't have a say in the matter. Well, on the way, could you stop off in Duford Town? I was hoping that you'd deliver a letter to Stephen in Duford. Okay. Now, you should know that I am a great president. That's a bit narcissistic. So I'd never be so cheap as to ask for a favor for nothing in return. That's why I want you to have this. We get a Pokenav, which is Pokemon Navigator for short. That's what I just said, Mr. President. It's an indispensable tool for any trainer on, on an adventure. It has a map of the Hoenn region. You can check the locations of Duford and Slightport easily. By the way, I've heard that sinister criminals, Magma and Aqua, I believe, have been making trouble far and wide. I think it would be best if you rest it up before you go on your way. Thanks. <laughs> well then, Anthony, go with caution and care. So let's go and check out this Pokenav. As it said there, there's Hoenn map, obviously. This is the entire Hoenn region. That's Petalburg City down there, and all the way down here is Duford Town. There's Slateport. There's Mauville City, and there's Verdant Turf. But because the tunnel's closed off, we can't just go from here to here. We gotta go all the way around. And that condition thing isn't really useful at the moment, so we'll get into that later. But this is actually a pretty interesting floor here. Oh wow, Pokemon Nav. Yeah. Uh. Alright. <laughs> I thought he was gonna actually explain the details of the Pokemon Nav, and he says he's developing new types of Pokeballs. Device for talking with Pokemon, but we haven't had much success. Trying to develop a device that visually reproduces the dreams of Pokemon, but it's not going well. They actually use this idea later on for the fifth generation Pokemon games, so that's actually a pretty cool nod towards what they were going to do in the future. Now what shall I work on developing next? Our company allows us to make our inspirations into reality. One couldn't ask for a better environment as an engineer. But this one here is the most important. I have been trying to develop a device that resurrects Pokemon from fossils, and it's working! So I'll have to keep him in mind for later, in case we find any fossils. Yeah, that's pretty much all of Rustboro City that's of any important- Whoa! I've been developing an added feature for the Pokenav, and it turned out great! May I see that Pokenav, the one our president gave you? There you go, I had a new feature named Match Call to your Pokenav. Using the Match Call feature, you can chat with people who have been registered in your Pokenav. Anthony, our president, Stone, should have be registered in your Pokenav. Test it out. Please give our president the call. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and call Mr. Stone. Oh, Anthony, since you called me, the Pokenaf must be working properly. Other people will be registered, so try calling them up too. You seem to be quite happy. How could I know that? It's because I'm looking down at you from my office window. <laughs> See you again. Bit creepy, but okay. I better get back to work. Take care. Thank you very much. But yeah, let's go ahead and go down south because that's really the only place we can go and hi, May. Oh, hi, Anthony. You know, match call feature pond your Pokenaf. Let's register each other so we can contact one another anytime. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I passed Mr. Briny in Petalburg Woods. I guess he's on his way home to his cottage by the sea. There's your Pokedex coming along, Anthony. Mine's looking pretty decent, so how about a little battle? I think this is actually an optional battle, so you don't even have to battle me if you don't want to, but why would you decline a rival battle? She's gonna send out a Wingle. This is actually gonna be kind of difficult to fight. Um... You know what, let's use our own Wingle. Mine's one level higher, so hopefully it'll have a slight advantage. Uh, of course she hit the supersonic. Why not? She's the AI after all. Let's see, come on Wingle, damn it. Yeah, this is gonna suck. But it's all I can really do. Okay, good, it snapped out of confusion already. Yeah, my wing attack does way more damage. Okay, maybe not way more. I'm used to that being the bag option in it, literally every other Pokemon game, so let's use a potion on Wingle here. Should be able to take one more safely. Then I can outspeed for the third wing attack. Or it can just growl me, okay. I don't mind. And she doesn't heal for whatever reason, so maybe she doesn't have any potions. Low tide grew to level 14. That's actually a pretty nice thing that it did. And we get Trico here. I think I'm just going to leave Wingull here. Because now that Wingull has a gr uh, flying type move, grass types aren't going to be an issue for it whatsoever. See, it's using Leer. I don't think it can really do anything to Wingle either way, so... You're really just giving me free wing attacks here. It does have Overgrow active now. Ouch! That hurt. Oh, shit! The strategies! The strategies! Ah, it doesn't really matter. I think Mudkip will be able to KO it here anyway. Tackle it! Shit! Okay, that's not good. That is definitely not good. Lotad, get out there. Good thing it learned nature power, otherwise this could have been a problem. But at least Mudkip got some experience fighting its rival. Yikes, you're better than I expected. But with that, Lotad is evolving. Now it'll finally be able to do some damage here. Our first evolution! Lotad has evolved into Lombre. Oh, by the way, Mr. Briny who I just passed... Anthony, you just moved here, so you might not know this, but Mr. Briny was once a revered sea seafarer. Well, I think that'll pretty much do it for this episode. So, next time on Pokemon Emerald, we'll be going ahead... We'll be going ahead and talk to Mr. Briny and see what we can do, because we kind of need his boat to really get anywhere else, so see you guys then.